Hey guys, it's Jess and I'm sharing a super quick video with you today on a new cut file for scrapbook.com. This one is called Bee Mine and it's all about this cute little bee. It's got a bunch of different files in there that you can use. So I'm just uploading it to my Cricut Design Space so that I can go ahead and cut it out. So with my uh, cut file, I decided that instead of making a layout or a card, I wanted to just make a tag. I wanted to show you guys that you can use these uh, cut files for something simple, just like making a so once my Cricut machine does its magic, I'll be ready to go ahead and take off the uh, cardstock from my mat. I'm just using some basil cardstock here. I've cut the black and the yellow. Uh, so the black is going to be kind of an overlay on top of the yellow and the yellow will be my base piece. I cut two in case I wanted to use them for multiple things. Now I did make these pretty large, but you can scale them down or up to whatever size you need to work for your project. Uh, so the best thing about this is that all you have to do is cut out the pieces and then glue them together. It's literally as simple as that. Um, I'm just using some Lawn Fawn glue tube here and I actually really liked the way that the little white dots looked on the uh, back here when I was applying the glue. So I decided later on to go ahead and add in some little dashed white lines. Uh, or dots, I should say, just because I thought this was so cute. I didn't add it to the whole thing, but for the second one, I might go back and do that. Uh, so once everything is attached, um, there's really not much else to do. Um, I did go ahead and pop a hole into one of the wings. I used the Cropodile tool. It's an eyelet setter and punch tool. Uh, so what it does is it cuts a hole or punches a hole through your paper and then it also um, sets your eyelids. So eyelids are kind of like these little metal pieces that help support your whole area, whichever area you cut out, uh, so that it doesn't get like defective or uh, tear easy if it's being used or especially for a tag if it's hanging off of something. Uh, so I think that these are really super useful to use and I did go ahead and put an eyelet into this one. Think of it kind of like one of those little hole protectors that you used to put in your binders in school. That's kind of how I picture it, only it's metal so it's even more durable. <laughs> So once my eyelet was set with this really nifty tool, I went ahead and grabbed some jute twine. I threaded that twine through the little eyelet. It's perfect. You can fit a good amount of stuff through there and you can choose the right size eyelet for your project or for your um, ribbon or fiber or whatever you're using. So I decided to just put a little bit of jute twine because I wanted it to have a more rustic sort of natural feel. And then I did take some photos of it on um, some different things just so you guys could see some ideas for how to use it. So here I've got it on a little um, package wrapped into some craft paper, which would be a really cute gift idea. I really like the way that that turned out. And then I also took a photo of it on a um, vase that we're using for our tea bags. So you can keep your honey right next to it and it's a super cute little bee theme. I hope you liked today's super short video. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that. Hit that like button and I will see you guys in another video really soon.